What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with an update video, sort of, on the situation that took place not too long ago. If you guys remember, I think it was a couple weeks back, I made a video because I had seen around all kinds of social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all kinds of people were kind of speculating the AEW action figures, man. Jazzwares, AEW action figures, where were they? You know, a lot of people were speculating that the line was done and, you know, where have they been and they haven't had pre-orders since this time and they haven't done this since this and this and that and that and this. And so I was, you know, just making a video speculating about it. I really didn't have an opinion on the matter. It was more of just getting your guys' thoughts on the whole situation and kind of figuring out where you guys were, what you thought about the AEW action figure line. I always want AEW action figures and whoever that is making the action figures, Mattel, all of them to succeed because the, we all reap the benefits of that. Everybody is a beneficiary when these companies have success. So we're always wishing the best for those companies when they're out there making action figures, man. I'm just, a, I'm an action figure fan. I don't really give a damn what you're making. If you make a quality action figure, I'm going to be in the front row for you. But anyways, man, we have an update. Jeremy Padauer took to Twitter the other day. Actually, I mean, I guess this goes back to before this. This may explain what all the delays have been. This may explain why we have been absent from any pre-orders. We have been absent from any new stuff coming out and why it's kind of been silent for a little while now. But if you guys were unaware, back in March of 2022, Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway acquired Jazzwares. And if you guys are like, what the hell are you talking about? Basically, a bigger entity or company purchased Jazzwares, who does make the AEW action figures. This was way back in March of 2022. So, had I known this, or had, I guess, anybody really paid attention to this, again, this was posted back in March 2022, it would have made obvious sense why there would be kind of a transition period, which is what I think most likely happened. I don't know what the hell goes into all the details and, you know, the nicks and crannies of a big old purchase like this, and what that means for operations, what this means for manufacturers and companies and all that. I don't know if it's just, yeah, we have a new owner and slap a new label on the owner of that or if everything will continue as, you know, it was. You know, maybe everything's still going to have Jazzwares on it. I, I don't know. I don't know what goes into all of that or everything like that. I mean, you're, you're dealing with a lot of bells and whistles right there that I do not know the details and all of the craziness about. So I could not tell you. However, Jazzwares is under a new umbrella now and I think that might be why there was such a big delay or why that was. And I'm sure they were prepping for this or at least I hope to God they were prepping for this back in March of 2020. 2022, or maybe even shortly before that when they knew the purchase was going to be coming through, but it was not finalized until the other day or the fourth quarter of of 2022, which is what this little article was saying here. So, you guys will see, it says, Jazzwares owner is about to have a new owner, Berkshire Hathaway, the legendary holding company led by chairman and CEO Warren Buffett, is getting deeper into the toy business through its $11.6 acquisition of Allegheny, Allegheny, I don't know, while uh, uh, is known for its holdings in its insurance business, its subsidiary, e you can see it, maintains a diverse portfolio of eight companies in non-financial industries including Jazzware. So, they have acquired Jazzwares, and Jeremy actually spoke about this on Twitter, and he goes on to say, after mentioning the purchase of Jazzwares and what all the company went through, he says, AEW figure community, watch for new waves, rollouts, and ship timing after first of year. We have a big 2023 coming, at Jazzwares, at AEW, hashtag AEW. So I guess we will finally have some updates, we'll finally have some news on what the hell is going on with AEW action figures and all those different things. Maybe this will increase the quality of the figures. I know a lot of people have been complaining about the elbows and the double jointed arms getting loose. A lot of people have complained about the plastic. A lot of people have been complaining about the shoulders. And a lot of people have been complaining about the line as a whole. And maybe this will mean that the quality of the action figures is going to actually do an uptick and it will lead to better and greater action figures indeed for everybody as a whole here but I think this is actually good news you know obviously again I want everybody to do the best job possible and if that means Jazzwares has to give up or another company has to come in to improve matters then I'm all for that uh, of course I don't know what goes into all that again that's a that's a whole that's above my pay grade right there Brad I, I don't know what the hell's going on in the inner detailings and workings of that however I do think that this does explain where the hiatus has been for the AEW action figures. Maybe they're waiting for the new year. They can start fresh with 2023, and that's what Jeremy has been saying here, apparently, that in 2023, 
it's going to be big, and, you know, I guess we're going to have to wait and see about that. Anybody can get on there and just tweet out stuff, but I, I, you know, I have high hopes. I think that we are going to get better action figures. I think that the best of the line is still yet to come, and we've had some great figures from Jazzwares, but I think that they could improve. We've, we've discussed this at nauseum on the channel. I think that they could greatly improve. I think that figures can continue to get better, and I think that Mattel is still on top of the game right now. You know, you're willing to uh, make a... I think if you were to inject Truth Serum into the neck of any individual, they would tell you that Mattel overall is better at making wrestling figures right now and I don't think that's really a hot take or something that should be controversial. I think that Mattel is making better quality action figures right now, but I do think that AEW does do some things really, really well, and I think that they have a few advantages over Mattel when it comes to wrestling action figures, but I am just here to talk about both companies when they make wrestling figures, even the companies that aren't in the limelight or at the retail space. I will, uh, you know, I, I'm all about good action figures, man, and it really doesn't matter if it's Hasbro or Bandai or Figma, or Revel Tech or whoever the hell else you want to get in here. I'm an action figure fan at the end of the day. I love toys, I love action figures, collectibles, all those different things. It just happens that this channel mainly focuses on wrestling action figures, so that's where we are. But AEW figures have kind of given us an answer there, and I think that that was worth a video and worth something getting on here to discuss, because I wanted you guys to be in the loop, first of all. I'm sure a lot of you already saw this post. I think a lot of people saw it and everything like that, but I would like to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Jeremy also added in his caption, he said, gear up, period. 2023 will be great, period. What AEW, Ring of Honor, and Legends do you want to see? And it had over 100 comments. So I think a lot of people were pretty pleased with this news. They're excited to see what the future brings. And I'm absolutely here for it. And I'm going to be here to cover all the things when it gets here, man. So I, I imagine that maybe at the beginning of 2023, we're probably going to see new pre-orders. We're probably going to see, you know, some new things coming out. And hopefully, I don't know when the, the next Fan Fest is like in March, I think. And I, I know we'll be hopefully way along the road of new action figures from AEW. AEW and stuff like that once we get to Fan Fest, but I think all of these changes, while they were silent for a while, they had to get through all the, you know, the, the murky, dark waters there for a second there, but I think we're on the other side of it, or looking at the other side of it, coming very soon, man, so it should be very fun, but I want to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this. Do you think the figures will improve in quality? Do you not really care? Um, are you just kind of one of those that's on the fence and like, I'll believe it when I see it, muchacho. Is that kind of where you are, you know? So let me all know all of those things down in the comment section below. But I wanted to talk about this because I thought it was pretty epic news. But AEW has a new creator, or I guess Jazzwares has a new owner. And I think that will be best for business. Or at least I guess they think so too. But anyways, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I will get the hell out of here. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, where the hell's that Walmart exclusive Wardlow? Just hit me in the brain. I just saw a clip of it here on the video, uh, you know, the little B-roll that we're looking at. And yeah, where where the hell's that Wardlow? I want that Wardlow. You cross the line.